One of the downsides of karting are crashes. When a crash happens, key parts of the kart are damaged or lost. If we lose a part and can still continue racing, unfortunately, the rules say we can. Sooner or later we will be shown the black flag with an orange disc. According to regulations, this flag means if the driver has a problem and to reduce speed at the stop at the pits, third of it with flag may result in a black flag, with a number being shown, the driver will be equipped from the results and additionally penalties may be issued. In other words, it means to you race over. But imagine this, you are driving in a professional race where the black flag with the orange disc doesn't exist. You crash with another driver and as a result you lose your front spoiler. However, your car is still drivable and you can continue the race. The question is, how would your aerodynamics change without the front spoiler? Today we are going to find this out. We will test and compare how karting aerodynamics are affected when we lose the front spoiler, the front panel, the rear bumper and the side pot. Let's find this out. When we lose the front spoiler, a few key changes occur. There is no wake producing the front of the spoiler, however, there is also no high velocity airflow above it, which reduces the acceleration of air over it. This means we are not producing that much downforce in the front area. To have the front spoiler, four new small wakes are formed around the cart. On the pressure visualization, we can see that instead of one high pressure area, we have now four which of course isn't good. The spoiler plays a critical role in directing airflow upwards toward the front panel. Without it, the wake inside the cart increases in size, disrupting the flow efficiency. Speaking about drag coefficient without the front spoiler, the drag coefficient increases significantly to 0.659 compared to 0.580 with the spoiler. Downforce drops pointedly from minus 0.16 to minus 0.035. The front spoiler is crucial for directing and structuring airflow and has a significant impact on downforce, particularly in the front area of the cart. Interestingly, when we remove the front panel, there is no longer a wake produced inside the cart. However, the absence of the panel creates new challenges. The wake behind the driver becomes noticeably larger. As we have the front panel, we have low pressure area here, which means positive lift, which pulls the front area of the cart up. This reduces overall downforce generated by the front spoiler. Another issue is the high pressure buildup near the steering wheel. We have the front panel, the flow hits the steering wheel directly, increasing drag. Pressure near the helmet decreased comparing to a cart with the front panel, but there is now higher pressure through the entire driver area. The drag coefficient we have the front panel rises up to 0.657, similar to the drag coefficient of cart we have a front spoiler. The lift coefficient decreases to minus 0.063. The front panel plays a critical role in kicking airflow upwards and preventing it from hitting the driver and steering wheel. Without it, drag increases significantly and downforce decreases, resulting in poor aerodynamic performance. The rear bumper on this cart model isn't as sufficient as it could be. It pushes airflow horizontally rather than directing it upwards. Despite that, it still plays an important role. Now, we'll speak about lift force. Lift force is the dynamic force that acts perpendicular to the direction of airflow, either pushing the cart upwards or pulling it downwards. It is used to calculate lift coefficient. The cart without the rear bumper produces less lift force by 1.8 newtons, or in our terms, 0.2 kilograms less downforce. And what kilograms are doing in aerodynamics? Lift force can also be expressed in terms of equivalent weight, since one kilogram of mass exerts about 9.81 newtons of force under Earth's gravity, we can convert between newtons and kilograms using this formula. So losing 1.8 newtons of downforce is roughly equivalent to the aerodynamic effect of losing the weight of 0.2 kilograms acting downward on the cart. Speaking about coefficient, we have the rear bumper, the drag coefficient increased by 0.018 
and downforce drops by 0.053. The lack of a rear bumper doesn't have as drastic impact as those of the front spoiler or front panel, but it still negatively affects the car's overall aerodynamic performance. In previous video I had mentioned the role of side pods, and it was clear they have the least aerodynamic impact out of all aero parts, but we'll still take a look at it. The floor on the cart looks very similar to that of a cart without any damages. The only noticeable difference appears here, a new small wake forms just behind the driver's helmet. If we switch to pressure visualization, we have higher and larger pressure in these areas, which of course means higher drag. The drag coefficient for a cart without a side pot is 0.595, with a lift coefficient of minus 0.188. These numbers are nearly identical to a fully intact cart. The side pod have a minimal impact on aerodynamics, compared to other aero parts. Here is a summary of the results. Every part of the cart's aero package plays a role, but the most two critical components are the front spoiler and the front panel. This significantly affect drag, downforce and airflow structure. So if you want to stay competitive in a race, don't lose your front spoiler or front panel.